This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. Guys, today I have uh, uh, come up with a very, very basic, interesting topic that is so far, like we have seen, there are multiple options are there to take the screenshots when any failure test cases are there or with the help of extend report, we have already seen the previous videos. But how to take the screen videos, a screen recorder, when your execution is going on, you can record your script also. I mean, record your uh, play also, and you can again play back. So how to do a screencast, right? I mean to say that how to do a screencaster or a screen recorder. I want to whatever the execution for every method is going on, right? So I can start the recording and I can stop the recording when the method is over. So I have found one very interesting API that is Monte Screen Recorder. This API I'm talking about. So this Monte Screen Recorder is very interesting and it's only one version is available on Maven. This is a very stable version. It's a very small API. And uh, you can use this particular uh, uh, dependency in your Maven project. I can show you that uh, I found this dependency. I found this particular page actually, Monte Media Library. And uh, this guy is, uh, has created some, on the basis of this uh, library, it's available in Java. It's written in Java, actually. And you, either you can download this particular zip file under that they have jar files also available. It's very light, it's very, very lightweight, like only 6 MB. You can um, add this particular jar file in your build path, as well as if you really want to use the Maven project, you can use the Maven project as well. So I have used this particular Maven dependency, it's available. The version is 0 0.770. If you see, they have only only one version. That's it. So it's very stable. After that, they haven't released anything. They released in 2017. And you can use this Maven dependency in your project and then just go for it. So how to use that? Um, to do this thing, what we have to do that first, we have to add a dependency. And let's see, I have added the dependency for uh, Selenium as well, the latest version of Selenium. And uh, I have added a dependency for TestNG also. I mean, the TestNG library, I have added separately <clears throat> in my project. I'm going to close this particular pom.xml file. And uh, the moment you save it, <clears throat> your project, you will see that under this Maven dependency, all the Selenium jar files as well as this particular jar file got added, Monte Screen Recorder. That's it. After that, what you have to do that I'll, I have created one basic utility. OK, with the help of this Monte screen recorder, I have created my own my screen recorder class. You can give any class name. And uh, so you don't need to understand this and you don't need to learn this particular code. I have already created this utility or maybe I can upload this utility on my GitHub. You can have a look. The description is available inside the description. I mean, the link of that particular GitHub, you can have a look and then you can start using it. It's very simple API. I have created one method which is extending screen recorder. So this is screen recorder class is coming from this Monte screen recorder. And I have created one constructor of this particular class passing some parameters as well as I have overridden this create movie file method also. This method is responsible. It will create the directory, whatever the directory or movie folder and then if it will append whatever the string you are passing right it will append with this particular uh, screen um, uh, with this particular uh, string name and then your uh, mp4 file or uh, avi file will be generated in which okay it will be having the recording and then this method is there that is start recording method so where exactly you want to store your recordings so i'll do one thing at the runtime i'll create one recordings folder under my project so this is simple. You can give any name, let's see my recordings or uh, my test recordings, whatever the name you want to give, you can give the name. And uh, after that, I have seen their code and written, I have written something, something over here that I'm calling this particular my screen recorder uh, uh, class object. I mean, the constructor I'm calling and passing these things. So they have given multiple options, MIME AVA type. So I'm using MIME AVA format. But if you want to use some other format also, you can use it. So if you click on it, so they support right now video AVA. They support MIME, a uh, quick time also for uh, quick player. 
MP4 also you can create MIME Java NM image sequence also if you want to use you can use it so right now I'm using MIME AVI so this particular class is coming from one day library it's a screen recorder library so don't change anything over here so this particular library I'll give you so if you see I have created only two methods one method is that start recording I'll call when I'm going to execute my test method and once my test method is done I'll simply call stop recording so this is something very interesting and you don't need to understand this code guys I have already written and nobody obviously it's not important for interview point of view but you can use and you can implement in your framework so this is something really cool stuff I think you can implement in your framework so you only thing <clears throat> You can change it over here that if you really want to change some date format so my folder i mean the file name will be like this i'll pass some name and then whatever the latest date format is there on the basis of this it will be appended so i'll show you how exactly it is working and in which folder you want to store your recording so you can give the file path over here so i'm giving that dot slash recordings means this recordings folder will be created under your project and then all the uh, recording files will be created over there that's it so you just put this particular my screen recorder or java somewhere anywhere in your package or in your utility and after that i'm going to create a okay test class in java java test ng so let's create a class and let's see my test class is anything let's see uh, my test demo don't select the main method because I'm going to write test ng method over here. So let's see quickly. I'll write that is first I'll declare with a driver. Right. And uh, import this web driver. And I'm going to write at the rate one before method. I'll write simply let's see public void setup method. Inside the setup, I'll initialize my driver. Driver is equal to new. Chrome driver, right? And let me import this. Let me import this as well. Import this. And we have to set the system property for Chrome as well. So I'll do one thing. I'll take it from some different projects. So quickly, I'll just copy paste. So system.set property, I have to use it from here. And uh, simple, I'm going to copy paste over here right so and then what i'm gonna do that um, okay yeah let's see that's it this is the setup method after setup method i'm gonna write one at the rate after method also guys and simple i'm writing let's see public void tear down method in which simple what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do that driver dot quit okay so driver dot quit I have written and this at the rate after method at the rate sorry right at the rate after method I'm gonna import now simple let's say I'm going to write two test cases my test case number one is let's see public void um, I'm writing some basic navigation let's see navigation test I want to check that navigation is happening properly or not I'm gonna write driver dot get let's see I'm launching www.google.com right and then I'm writing driver dot navigate dot to let's see I'm writing http colon www dot facebook dot com right import this at the rate test as well after that let's see I want to go back so driver dot navigate dot back and then again forward driver dot navigate dot forward and let's see the same thing see why I'm doing this because I just want to make it lengthy test case so that uh, we can see a proper recording the recording is happening and actually you I, I can show you the recording as well so let's see I'm launching google.com and then facebook.com and then back forward back forward I'm doing continuously right one thing now how to start the recording and how to stop the recording now so the moment my test case gets started what I'm gonna do that uh, 
I'll the buy screen recorder class is there having two methods, the start recording and the stop recording, and both are static in nature. So no need to create the object of this particular class. Simple, I'll call this start recording method and I'll pass the string. Okay, so let's see. Um, my class name is uh, my screen recorder dot start recording and let's see my method name is this navigation test. So the file name of this particular recording video, right? One video will be created and uh, the file name will be, we'll start with this. And it is asking that add throws declaration. So add throws declaration. Once your test case is done, simple what I'm gonna do that my screen recorder dot stop the record. So this is first line you have to write it over here, and then second line. Once everything is done in your test case, simple write my screen recorder dot stop recording. That's it. Okay, and after that, quit the browser. So if you see right now, we don't have any recordings uh, folder over here. This is my project. Uh, this is my Maven project. I don't have any recordings folder over here. So simple, what I'm gonna do that, I'll simple executing it. And then let's see, it should start the recording and let's see what happens. So I'll do one thing, just a minute. Yeah. So let's start the recording and let's see what happens. So yes, you will see that, okay, yes, browser is getting launched, google.com, then after that, Facebook, go back to Google, Facebook, back and forward, back and forward, multiple times did, and then test case is done. And then let's see, I'm gonna refresh my project now. It should create one recordings folder. <clears throat> so refresh it, <coughs> sorry about that. <clears throat> And then <clears throat> if you open recordings, you will see that navigation test. Today is uh, 5th January 2019 at 12 o'clock in the night. IST <clears throat> one a recording folder got created. I mean, and the recording dot AVI file, right, got created. And you can play this AVI file in your media player, in window media player or VLC media player, or let's see. So let's, let me go back to, let me go to this particular file location and uh, then I'll check the recording actually is running or not. So let's see. I'll do one thing that I'll go to that particular folder. In your case, maybe it will be C drive or D drive or whatever. See, see this file is available over here. Right click on it and let me check open with VLC media player and see this is the recording. <clears throat> Can you see that? Google to Facebook, Facebook to Google, like that it did, and then everything is done properly. And then the recording is done. And if you see the size, size is only around 783 KB. It depends on your, uh, okay, it depends on your uh, test case to test case. If you have a, the lengthy test case, around five minutes or 10 minutes test case, the size will be increased automatically. But this is a really cool feature, I really liked it. Let's say you want to, you can take this start recording and you can stop the recording for failure test cases and you can um, generate the recordings, MP4 files, and you can uh, showcase them to the developers. And sometimes developers say that, okay, no, this bug is not reproducible or maybe that time you have taken the screenshot there, uh, now it is well fine, but you can, with the screenshot, you can take the start recording and stop recording also. I mean, the you can generate this uh, video file, the recording file, and you can, attach with the bug and then you can send it to them or maybe on slack channel you can immediately send it to them okay this is what is happening and uh, this is what is uh, the recording you can have the recording and this is a bug in the application so i really like this feature i mean you can easily implement if you really want to do that so the good thing is that for every test case you can write let's see i'm going to write one more test case let's see this time i'm going to write some at the rate test, Navi instead of navigation test, let's see, <clears throat> yeah, navigation test case number two. Okay, or navigation, let's say I'm giving some name, feature test, right, like this. So again, I'm doing the same thing. Now this time I'm changing the application, let's see, instead of google.com, I'm 
making it to amazon.com from amazon to let's see um redif.com right so i'm not writing any other test case because that is not i mean important as of now because i just want to show that okay you can use driver or find element or whatever the test case that you are writing make sure that okay it is starting and stopping the recording and now let's see this feature test i'm going to write it over here so that the the recorded file name okay will be generated on the basis of your test method right so how many methods i have two test cases i have to add the rate test now i'm going to delete this recordings folder which right click and delete it and now it should create two recordings because two test methods are there <clears throat> if you have 100 test methods it should generate 100 test recordings okay so let's run it and let's see what happens so yes my first browser is getting open so first time it will navigate between google to facebook facebook to google fine now the second test case amazon to rediff fine and rediff okay again once the page is fully loaded it will go back to amazon then rediff again go back to amazon rediff so it is like keep recording it and amazon rediff and finally amazon rediff yeah and then done so two test cases are there perfect all the two test cases got passed if you see the test in the result both the test cases navigation test and navigation feature test now i'll refresh my project and i'll see that recordings folder you can see that two test cases it means two recordings are there you see navigation feature test and navigation test and if you see the location okay if you see the location go to folder okay so the location here in your in your case if you are using windows <coughs> c drive or d drive will be there so i'll actually i'll go to this particular location navigation feature test and navigation test so if you play this recording in vlc media player open with vlc you can actually see that see the complete recording the complete full recording this is the avi file see this is the recording guys. this is a vlc media player actually okay so see it is around uh, around 30 seconds video right uh, yeah let it complete and then see back to amazon red if amazon red if it is showing so you can record any any your test case and then you can and if you find some issue or something like this you can uh, make it a zip file and send it to them this is like i really like this feature but the only drawback is that so many recordings will be there so make sure you have enough space in your system and keep deleting the old recordings otherwise unnecessary it's not at all useful for you right so if you really want to use guys you can use it i'm going to upload this particular project in github repository i'll share the link inside the description please have a look so you don't need to create this method this method and all this utility i have already have created you just need to call these two methods start recording and stop recording you just need to start writing your test cases and then simple start recording give some method name properly so generally i give whatever the method name is there test method name is there same method name i'm giving over here and the same man along with this method name your recording file name will be created see navigation underscore feature test and appended with the date why appended with date the latest current date current stamp latest time stamp because tomorrow if you're executing the same test case tomorrow date will be appended so you can easily differentiate like that right Cool guys, so I think that's all for uh, this particular session. It's like very quick, very easy, and very good utility. If you really want to implement, you can use it. Thank you, thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, guys. Thank you so much.